Hello everyone. So in this video, I'll quickly revise with the layouts part. Uh, that is the NMOS inverter which you have already studied and then I'll uh, further move with the rest of the logics. So whenever you are uh, doing layouts, so I told you a layout diagram is the representation of layers of the transistor which are used. So the different types of layers you come across are metal layer and the representation is like this. Then you have polysilicon layer which is represented like this and you have diffusion in diffusion you have n plus and p plus n plus diffusion region is represented like this and p plus diffusion region is represented like this with much more spaces and metal layer is blue in color polysilicon is red in color n plus is green and p plus is yellow in color so these are the different types of uh, representations which are used for layout and you have one more thing which is called as contact cuts so contact cuts are the regions where which is used to join two different regions for example if you are joining metal layer and polysilicon layer so the metal layer will come like this or from any side it can come and if you are joining a polysilicon layer okay for this example we'll take metal layer and n plus layer so you are joining n plus layer like this so this contact cut joins two different layers that is metal layer and n plus layer and the representation you have to give is you have to represent both metal as well as n plus like this so this is how you have to represent a contact cut which joins two different layers now we will quickly go to the nmos logic and first we will see nmos inverter I hope all of you know how to design the NMOS inverter circuit diagram. I told you the pull up region will be the depletion mode transistor and the so if this is source which is pulled towards VDD and the opposite terminal is drain and the input terminal is the gate. The gate and drain are always shorted in your NMOS inverter which is a depletion mode uh, transistor and the pull down is enhancement mode transistor and uh, so this is source this is a drain and this is gate so you are giving the input to the gate terminal and you are getting the output wherever you are joining two drain terminals so this is vdd and this is ground so this is the circuit diagram of nmos inverter so how to draw the layout for this so as i told you we have to draw <coughs> metal lines for vdd and ground so let me draw the metal layer first with the two parallel rails of vdd so this is the metal layer representation I'll name it as VDD and similarly I'll draw one more parallel rail for ground. So these two are the metal lines which you have to draw first for VDD and ground. Next you have to join VDD and ground since it is NMOS layer you can take N plus diffusion and join VDD and ground. So I will draw a n plus layer here but since you are joining two different layers you have to make use of a contact cut here so here you are joining metal layer and polysilicon layer sorry metal layer and n plus layer so draw the representation for metal layer as well as n plus layer here similarly draw one more contact cut here so that you are joining two different layers and write the representation for metal and n plus right so I told you the transistor will be formed whenever you are joining diffusion region with the polysilicon region. So if you for in this case you, are, you have to use n plus diffusion since it is n transistor. So how is the transistor formed? The transistor will be formed when the diffusion region crosses with polysilicon region like this. So a transistor will be formed. So first let's make the bottom transistor. So you already have the N plus. If you want to make a transistor, you have to cross it with the N plus, sorry, polysilicon region. So whenever the N plus region crosses with the polysilicon region, a transistor will be formed. Now you have done the bottom transistor, that is your pull down transistor. Next, to make pull up transistor, 
uh, if you uh, uh, just go back through these stick diagram you used to make it like this and then you, 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 you used to draw like this then you put a contact cut and you used to draw the polysilicon something like this but in this case it's not necessary directly you can draw bigger polysilicon like this so which which is and which is understood that the gate and drain terminals are shorted together so you don't have to draw the connection like this directly you make the connection and draw the representation of polysilicon so this this is the construction of the pull up transistor so it is understood that you don't have to make like this right and you have the depletion mode transistor if, if it is a depletion mode transistor you have to use make use of the implant so i'll draw the implant in the dotted lines so this implant has to touch the metal layer and again come back to this layer and slightly two lambda region below this so if you know you can write the specification of two lambda so i told you about lambda based design rules if you don't know you can just write the representation as it is which is understood right so uh, vdd is put, uh, sources pulled towards vdd and this is drain and here is the gate and drain are shorted here and here it is source and this point is drain so you can give the input here which to the gate terminal so i'll write it as v in and you can take the output in, in between the drain terminals so this layer already metal layer is uh, sorry n plus layer is already present here the same region i can extend it outside and i can write it as v out or there is also an option where you can extend the polysilicon, la polysilicon layer here itself and you can write the representation and you can write v out that is an optional so why because this point is also same this point is also same and this point is also same so that's why either you can write it here or you can write it here so if you extend it from this layer you have to extend the same layer and if you take it from this point you have to write the polysilicon layer that's the difference which you come across right so this is the layout diagram for the corresponding circuit diagram of your nmos inverter so let me tell you once again first draw the vdd and ground using the metal lines so these metal lines are blue in color you don't have to indicate the representation itself is fine the polysilicon is red in color and uh, this uh, n plus is green in color okay and this is the implant this is yellow in color right so these are the color representations which you use.